Hey, Pickens, physical science students. So um, I want to show you guys how to get into gizmos uh, or explorelearning.com, uh, which has some virtual labs, which are commonly called gizmos. And so a lot of times I'll say, OK, log into gizmos or go to gizmos. And this is what I'm talking about. This is going to be an assignment for you today. One of the two things I have for you to do. Uh, the first assignment is to actually log in and create an account. And so you can see in unit two of your class that we have logging into gizmos. And this video will actually show up here on this assignment after I have uploaded it, since I'm creating it right now. And what you want to do is you want to click on the link to go to gizmos, okay? Uh, either one of those links. I'm not quite sure whether there's two there. When you click on those, it should take you to this page. When you're on this page, you wanna click up here to log in and you probably don't have accounts unless somehow you use this uh, with a middle school teacher last year. What you wanna do is you wanna come down to student class enrollment and you wanna type in the class code. Now, what I did is I gave you the class code here on the assignment in Schoology. So you can simply highlight that and copy and paste it, okay? But the code again would be LNG437, Lima November Golf 437. And then you wanna click on enroll in class. Now, you wanna confirm that you're enrolling in physical sciences, so that it's my second block class taught by me. Hopefully nothing else comes up than this. If by some miracle you have used this before and you remember using this before, then you want to try to click on the blue option here, okay? But I think most of you probably will need to create an account, and so you will want to click on the green option to register, not log in, but register. And so you want to click down here to create. Now, your personal info, this needs to match who you are in the class, okay? And so I need you to put in your first name and last name. Now, if you've told me a nickname that you go by in the class, and that's a nickname that I've been referring to you as, you could use that nickname, but definitely make sure you have your real last name here, okay? You do not have to put in your email address. It's not required for students. But if you do put in your email address, and this is not your school email address, if you do put in a personal email address, then if you happen to forget your password, you can get Gizmos to reset your password for you using your email, okay? But you do not have to supply that. You can use whatever you like that's school appropriate for your username and your password. I would suggest that you use the same username that you use for school, that whatever you log into your Chromebook with, and that you use the same password that you use on your Chromebooks as well, okay? Um, and so CK1, that's already in use. CK101, 01, 01, 01, 01, 01, wow. That's kind of crazy. Um, CKLUG, one, two, wow. Um, 2021 CK LUG. Okay. Oh, it wasn't checking every single one. Whatever. Whatever your password is, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. That's not a real password. Um, and then you're in. Okay. Now Notice that you can click up here to see you, your account. You can click up here on classes to see any other classes that you happen to be in. And you can click up here if you're already logged in to enroll in a different class with a class code, okay? So let me log out and walk you through those steps one more time. So up here on login enroll, you go to class code, you type in our class code, Lima November Golf 437. You enroll in the class. You choose the green option to register now. You put in this information using your school username and your school password is what I would suggest. 
but you do not have to use those. Um, I can see your passwords. Of course, I can see your school passwords as well. But so if you happen to forget your password, I can look that up and help you out. At least in class is a lot easier to do that. So um, that's it. Hopefully that's enough information to get registered on explorelearning.com. If you have questions, definitely please uh, come in at 1030 today um, or on a different day this week to ask those.